Hi, welcome. This is module four, lesson 18 of Engage New York. Our objective is the same as uh, lesson 17. We are relating decimal and fraction multiplication, and we're looking for how they are similar, how you can look at both knowing that a fraction is a decimal and a decimal is a fraction. That's the big idea. All right, so I am going to show you how to multiply, continue to multiply using decimals and, and turning that idea in using both decimals and fractions in order to solve the same problem. All right, we're going to start off with, I want you to rewrite this, this problem right here as a fraction multiplication expression. So remember, expression means it does not have an equal sign. So how would you write that as a fraction multiplication expression? Would you write 32 tenths times 21 tenths? That would be the right thing. All right, before we multiply these two decimals, let's estimate what our product will be. So let's go back up here. 3.2 is pretty close to 3, and 2.1 is pretty close to 2. So I'd say our answer will be around 6. So 3 times 2 is 6, right? The product will be a little more than 6 because 3.2 is a little more than 3, and 2.1 is a little more than 2. So it's about twice as much as 3. All right? So... Now that we've estimated, let's go ahead and solve. What do we get when we multiply tenths by tenths, though? Tenths by tenths, what do we get? That's right, hundreds, right? We get hundreds. So let's use the unit form to multiply 32 tenths and 21 tenths. All right, let's do it. So let's go. 32 times 21 over 10 times 10, right? All right, now we could do the multiplication up here, 32 times 21, two, three, four, six, two, seven, six, 672 what's though? So we end up with 672 what? Hundreds, right? Oh, that worked out nicely, right? So we have, what does that look like in, in a decimal? Well, we know that the two has to be in the hundred spot, right? So 672 hundreds. That worked out nicely, didn't it? Okay, now... We are going to now, oh, 672 hundred. Oh, shoot, hundreds. It's not thousands. Sorry, my bad. No. Good thing I took a second look at that. This is thousands. This will be in the, this would have to be in the thousands. We would have to have a thousands if it was all behind the decimal, but it can't be all behind the decimal. It has to be six and 72 hundreds because the two has to be in the hundreds. Woof, glad I fixed that. So does the, now, does the answer make sense given what we estimated the pro product to be earlier? Yes, it does. We said it was going to be a little more than six, right? Okay, so now let's try it again. But this time we're going to use, we're going to use the unit form here. We're going to say, now, there are three different ways to do this. I'm showing you a second way. Here's one way. I'm going to show you a second way. And yes, we will get to the third way way to do it, but we'll, I'll wait a little bit. Okay. So we have 32 tenths, right? Multiplied by 
21 tenths, which is equal to 672 hundredths, which ends up being 6.72, right? All right, now, 32 tenths times 21 tenths. So when I do this, I'm using, I'm still using the unit form. So I can multiply 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3. Now, we're done with the 1, right? We've just used the 1 to multiply. I'm going to cross it out and record a 0 because we're not working in the 1's place anymore. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. I think people get confused with that. So 2 plus 0 is 2. 3 times 4, I mean 3 plus 4 is 7, and 6 plus 0 is, is um, 6. All right, so now let's add it up, and we got 700, uh, 672 what? It's hundredths. But let's not make, let, let's not me make that same mistake I made earlier where I thought I was dealing with the thousands place, and I'm not, I'm dealing with the hundredths place. So that two has to go in the hundreds place, the seven goes in the tens, and the six goes in the oh, ones wow. place, 6.72. All right, we are now going on to 2.3 times 0 0.44. Well, let's go ahead and do a little product estimation. And that's kind of where I caught myself earlier here is I went, wait a minute. I estimated that to be about six. How could I get so far off? No, that's why doing a quick little estimate is not a bad thing to do. So we are still multiplying 3.2, but this time we want about three copies of almost a one half. All right, almost a half. Three copies of almost a half. That's like three halves, so our answer will be about one and a half. This is about three times more than four tenths. So the answer will be around 12, 12 tenths. Let's, let's estimate there. It will be a little bit more because 3.2 is a little more than three times as much. So now, what I want you to do is I want you to use this strategy up here to solve right here. Then we'll come over here and use this strategy over here, okay? Now, there is a reason that I'm showing you this like this because it's going to evolve. But right here, we're relating um, fractions to decimals, okay? So let's go ahead. 3.2 becomes what? 32 tenths, right? And what about 44? 44, 44, what is that? 44 what? Hundredths. Right? All right, let's move on. So 32 times 44 over 10 times 100. You don't have to do this extra step if you don't need to. I'm just trying to make sure that it's really clear. Now, 44 times 32 is actually, it's actually 1,408, but let me go ahead and show it to you. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. I'm done with the 2, so I'm going to put a 0 in this column because I'm done using that, that factor in my multiplication. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Add them up, 8, 10, 1,408. 
some some people are still trying to master this idea so i just wanted to model it for you and this right here crossing out that that number two after you've done after you've actually worked that out sometimes does help all right so now we have 1408 over what well we have it over a thousand right so what does that become so think about this this is where i made my mistake last time right i what did we estimate this was going to be about 12 tenths right oh 12 tenths okay so but this is going to be in the thousands so my eight has to sit in the thousands right so let's make sure that we start with our thousands i'm starting with my thousands and i'm filling in my number So this is a little bit more than 12 tenths, right? It's 1.408. Now, let's try it using our uniform, 32 tenths times 44 hundredths. Now you know, tenths and hundredths become what? thousands when you're multiplying right okay so i end up with 8 12 i'm going to cross off my 4 then i have 8 here's 12 again add them up 8 10 i'm going to end up with 4 and 1. now i end up with what 1408 thousands I'm going to make sure I have my. Now I have to convert that and put that so it's thousands. So my eight has to sit in the thousands place. So I'm going to fill in my numbers going this way. So 1.408. How'd that go? All right. We're going to continue going with this. Let's see how you're doing right now so now we have 3.2 times 4.21 right all right do you want to estimate so three times as much as four is 12 so three times as much as 12 right three times as much as four is 12. that will be a little more than because 3.2 is a little more than 3 and 4.21 is a little more than 4. It's still multiplying by something close to 3 though. So this time it's going to be a close to 4 or 3 fourths is 12. Okay. Let's start out and write this as a multiplication expression and then come over here and write it in the decimal um, the decimal expression. Okay. Here we go, 32 tens. And if you don't, if you can go ahead and solve this without me, go ahead and try it and then come back and kind of listen to what I'm saying and see if you can, if you're, if you're doing this successfully. Remember, this is tens, hundreds, so I have to be over a hundred. So 32 times 421 over 10 times 100. That's going to give me, if I come up here and I do 30, oops, I'm going to start with 421 times 32. It ends up being 13,472. So I end up with 13,472 over 1,000. So what is that going to look like? Well, I know my 2 has to sit in the thousands place, hundreds, tens, and oh, these are my 1s, right? So now I'm going to go thousands place, and we said it was going to be a little more than 12, right? Excellent. Okay, now 
try it with with the what do we call it again the the uniform okay so 32 tenths multiplied by now i like do you know what i like to put the larger number on top and it just helps keep me organized 421 what hundreds right multiplied by what is it again 32 tenths so now if we multiply 1 times 2 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 4 2 times 4 is 8 I'm done with this 2 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 2 is 6 3 times 4 is 12 2 7 14 there we go and I end up hundreds and I have hundreds and I have tenths and then I move over to the thousands so now I need to turn 13,472 thousands so what does that look like I'm going to start in my thousands and I'm going to move my way over to make sure I have my decimal in the correct spot all right We are going to go on to problem two. It's time. Let's rewrite the problem vertically in unit form um, first. So we're going to rewrite the problem vertically up and down in unit form first. So here we go. We're moving on to problem two. So 2.6 is equal to how many tenths? 26 tenths, right? 26 tenths, right? So 0 0.4 is equal to how many tenths? 4 tenths, right? What does tenths times tenths result in? You're right, hundreds. So our product will be named in the hundreds place. So what is 26 times 4? Well, 26 times 4, 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10. 108 what? I'm sorry, 104 what? I'll record 104 as the product. So 104 what? What is our unit? Our unit is hundreds. Right? Okay. But now we have to put that into a standard form, a standard decimal form. So this is going to have to be, so four has to be in the hundreds, right? So I'm going to make sure four sits in the hundreds. Zero is going to sit in the tens my decimal and one is going to sit in the ones place on the place value chart right excellent so you now i want you to use fraction multiplication to confirm your your product is correct okay so come over here what are you going to do here so 26 tenths times what four tenths becomes 26 times four over 10 times 10 and that becomes 104 over 10 oh sorry over 100 100 goes into four i mean 100 goes into 100 one time right and it would be one and four tenths right so one and four tenths turns to one and Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. One and four hundredths. So one and four hundredths. 
There you go. All right, do these match up? Let me make sure it matches up. My fours match up. All right. All right, moving on to problem three. There's two parts in problem three. There are two problems, sorry, in problem three. All right, do you want to estimate? I know a lot of people think, no, don't estimate, but wait a minute, remember I found, I, I kind of checked in, it was my way of checking in on my thinking and making sure, wait a minute, did I just end up with the right answer? Okay, so it should be something close to three because three times one is three, something between three and six because 1.4 is close to the midpoint of one and two, it's close to three times one and a half, that's four and a half. So think about that. It's going to be about that. So let's use uniform with tenths to solve this. So let's start with uniform. So 31 tenths times 14 tenths. Shoot, I just did that wrong. No, I didn't, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, let's go ahead. One times four is four. Three times four is 12. Cross out that four. One, oh. One times one is one. One times three is three. Now we're gonna add them up. Four, two plus one is three. 1 plus 3 is 4. So wait a minute. So if we have tenths times tenths, what do we know? It's going to become what? Hundreds, right? So now we have to write this in unit form. So I have to make sure my 4 sits in the hundreds and the 3 is going to sit in the tenths. Oh, so this 4 is now going to move on the other side of the decimal, 4.34 or four and 34 hundredths. Okay, now try the fraction form. If this is unit form, then we have fraction form, right? All right, let's try it. What are you going to turn 3.1 into? How about 31? tenths, right, times 14 tenths is going to give us what? 31 times 14 over 10 times 10. That gives us 434 because we've done the multiplication over 100. So 434 hundredths. So we know that 4 has to sit in the hundredths place. So four, fill in, three goes into the tenths, four goes into the ones place. Now, let me show you one more way, the most common way that you might see, the, the way that your parents are going to say, hey, why don't you just try it this way? So now, I'm going to erase fraction form here. Okay, so this is the fraction form of this. Okay, now I'm going to show you one more way. All right, we have 3.1 times 1.4, right? So I'm just going to simply write 3.1 times 1.4. And I'm going to stack them on top of each other and multiply just like I did over here. I'm going to ignore the decimals or essentially what I'm doing, if I multiply this number, let's say pretend I do a little multiplication and I multiply, that actually moves the decimal over here. And if I pretend to multiply over here, I move this decimal over here. 
So how many times did I move the decimal? Twice, right? Okay, so just keep that in mind. I multiplied each by 10 to get rid of the decimal. Do you have to do it this way? No. Could you do it this way? Yes. Could you do it this way? Yes. But it, things start to get a little bit messier and a little bit bigger. So this is when we come over here to this form. So I didn't really do it, but I'm just showing you why you're able to ignore the decimals. So keep this in mind, okay? Pretend that we actually did this, but I'm going to go 3.1 times 1.4. Now, because you can technically do this, and I just multiplied one 10 and a second 10, two 10s, right? Keep that in mind. But now I'm just going to pretend they're not there. So one times four is four. Four times three is 12. I'm going to add the zero because I'm done with the four now. One times one is one. 1 times 3 is 3. I'm going to add them up. 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, I ended up with the same number, right? All right, let me ask you. How many numbers are behind the decimal? How many numbers total in the problem are behind the decimal? There are two numbers behind the decimals, right? In the entire problem. All right. So what we do is we come back and we put the decimal back in. So did we end up with four and 34 hundreds again? Yes. And it's essentially because I multiplied, essentially, I multiplied that decimal out. I multiplied that decimal out and my number got bigger. I ended up with 31 and 14. So if I imagine it like in an imaginary world, I did multiply that out, which works. It's totally, a, it absolutely 100% works. But if I just want to use what, let's say what your parents learned and how they learned to multiply decimals is they didn't learn why. They didn't learn that they were really multiplying fractions. They didn't really think about the unit form of any of this. So all I do is I look at my problem, how many numbers are behind the decimal in total, up at the top and on the bottom. And then I come back and I divide twice back in. I multiply twice, I divide twice. I go over here and I move my decimal back into my problem and I end up with 4.34. All right. Those are the three ways to multiply decimals and fractions. All right. So when you get a decimal, a decimal number, and you're multiplying by another decimal number, there are three ways to do it. And this is the reason why this works right here it's because essentially you're multiplying by 10 to get get rid of that that decimal you're multiplying by 10 again here to to get rid of the decimal because remember whenever you multiply by 10 the number gets 10 times bigger if you multiply by 100 it gets 100 times bigger if you multiply by a thousand it gets a thousand times bigger right all right so that's why this works is because this is what you're pretending to do here without actually doing it. Instead, you know that you are just gonna count the numbers, how many numbers are behind the decimal, and you start at the edge and you put that decimal back in. You count over how many, how many numbers are behind the decimal. All right. That <laughs> is that. So, Let's move on to part B. All right, I'm gonna have you try this one on your own. It's very similar to this one, but now we have 31, what, hundredths and 14 tenths. I want you to try this problem on your own. And you know what? I do want you to try it the three different ways. And then on problem three, wait, Oh, this is problem three. Um, 
as we move on to problem four, the last problem, I'm going to let you choose which way you want to solve. Okay, so just try it out three different ways. Find your jam, which way works best for you. But on a test, it might say, I want you to multiply this with uniform. I want you to multiply this with fraction form. Okay, so, or it might not. It might just say solve, which gives you the opportunity to solve like this. Okay, go ahead and go. Try this problem out three different ways. Come back and check your work. All right, here we go. Unit form. Hundreds, tens become thousands, right? And we already did the multiplication of the same exact numbers here. Then we have 31 over 100, 14 over 10, 31 times 14 over 1,000, putting it in, here's fraction form, here's decimal form. Then coming over here. Now, the trick here is you absolutely have to line up your numbers. You cannot put the one all the way over here. You have to line up the numbers and you have to stack them just like you would stack them over here. So I multiplied, I came over here and went, how many numbers behind the decimal? One, two, three, came back one, two, three. All right, last problem for our concept development is 4.2 times 0 0.12. So four and two tenths times uh, 12 hundredths. All right. I want you to solve this problem using either unit form or fraction form. And then if you want to throw in the common form, um, then go ahead and do that. Then come back and check your work. All right. Here's my unit form. Here's my fraction form. Here is a common form. Now notice, I notice number one, I stacked my problems and I did put 0 0.12 on top because there are more numbers in this problem and i knew i have to stack i have to stack my numbers on top of each other so 0 0.12 is a different number than 4.2 but i need to stack my numbers on top of each other i multiplied got the same answer then i came back up here how many numbers are behind the decimal came back one two three and there we go all right, this should get you started as you take on concept development. Concept development, I mean, sorry, the problem set, excuse me. Okay, so now the problem set is going to make so much more sense. So it says multiply using both fraction form and unit form. So here's a fraction form, here's a unit form. So I'm going to suggest... doing that for these four problems, these three problems right here, right? Then down here, it says multiply using fraction form and uniform, and then check your answer by counting the decimal places. Counting the decimal places, that's going back and using what I taught you at the end, stacking your numbers and multiplying. I would just stick to what is easiest for you and what you understand best to check your answer. Then it says solve using standard algorithm. Now, standard algorithm is stacking the numbers. Now, I taught you standard algorithm with the decimals and without the decimals, right? Come back to check your work. Then Caroline buys 1.2 pounds of chicken breast. If each pound of chicken breast costs $3.70, how much will she pay for the chicken breast? Then remember, go back to what you know. What have we been doing? How have we been solving? Here, using the same method. So 3.70, hmm. I wonder if you should just change that to 370 hundredths, right? Okay. A chicken, uh, sorry, a kitchen measures 3.75 meters by 4.2 meters. Find the area. Remember, area is length times. The area of the living room is one and a half times that of the kitchen. Find the total area of the living room. So you need to take the area here and multiply it by what? One and a half times. Okay, 
you should be ready to go for problem set. Come back to the debrief to check your work so that you are ready, you are confident as you take on that homework.